Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number eight from the January 2022 Pure Mathematics P3 International A Level exam. Um, here we have a question about logarithms. It says a dose of antibiotics is given to a patient. The amount of the antibiotic X milligrams in the patient's bloodstream T hours after the dose was given is found to satisfy this equation. Log to the base 10x equals 2.74 minus 0.079t. Show that this equation can be written in the form x equals p times q to the power of minus t. Okay, so we can do this in two ways. We could start from here or we could start from there. Either of those ways is perfectly acceptable. All right, so I'll show you both ways. If we start from here... We start from here... We can say that we know that the log to the base a of b equals c can be rewritten as a to the power of c equals b. a to the power of c equals b. This is like the log form. This is like the index form. So what this can be, done, what we can do is we can say log to the base 10 of x equals 2.74 minus 0.079t can be written as and basically, x equals 10 to the power of all of this, 2.74 minus 0.079t. So it almost looks like this now. We have to just re re rewrite it a little bit. So we're going to have here, this is like the same as saying 10 to the power of 2.74 um, times, you can say 10 to the power of... Um, 0.0979 you can say because we want this to be negative t times negative t this is the same as that exactly okay because you have to add the powers all right this is like 10 to the power of something now when you have when you subtract the powers it's like you are you can say dividing them right which is the same as you could say um, this is to the power of negative t you could say you were adding 2.74 with negative 0.079t. So I've just kind of split this up now in this way. If I if I want to combine these two and I add the two powers together, I'll get exactly this. I'll have 2.74 plus 0.079 times minus t, which will give me exactly that. So these are the same. But I've got it now in the form that I want. I want to have minus t on its own here. And I want to have x and p. I want to, sorry, I want to have p, p and q. All right, but I want to write P and Q in like to 2SF. So P is equal to 10 to the power of 2.74 and Q is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.079. So let's see what that gives us. We have 10 to the power of 2.74, which gives us 549. Um, point 0.5 we want to write them to two significant figures so 549.5 which is 550 and q is 10 to the power of 0 0.079 which gives us 1.199 1.199 which gives you 1.2 okay which is to two significant figures so that's P and that's Q there. That's the answer to part A. I'll also show you how to do it in the alternative method. The alternative method is if you start from this. You start from this. You have X equals P Q to the power of minus T. And we're going to take log to the base 10 of both sides because they've told us to take log to the base 10. So you have log to the base 10 of X equals log to the base 10 of P, Q to the power of minus T. Now using the laws of logarithms, we can split this up. We have log to the base 10 of X is equal to, this is log to the base 10 of P, okay, um, plus log to the base 10 of, my, um, of Q to the power of minus T, sorry. And then we can use a power law and say log to the base 10 of X equals log to the base 10 of p minus t times log to the base 10 of q. 
So now we have it in this form. We can now compare them and we can say log to the base 10 of P is the same as this number here, 2.74. And we can say log to the base 10 of Q is the same as this number here, which is 0 0.079. And then we can do exactly the same thing. So 10 to the power of 2.74 will be the same as P and 10 to the power of 0 0.079 will be the same as Q. And that's exactly what we had here. All right, so there's two different ways of answering this question. One, we could start um, from the logarithm here and write in index form, or we could start from the index form and write them as logarithms. Both ways are perfectly acceptable. Then it says, with reference to the equation in part A, interpret the value of the constant P. Okay, so the constant P here, if you think about it, P is the, what's P here? Constant, all right, sorry. So basically what X here is, is the amount of antibiotic in the bloodstream T hours after the dose was given. So basically P would be the value of X when T is zero. When T is zero, okay, you can see X equals p q to the power of minus t all right so when t is zero then x is going to be p so therefore we can say it's the initial you could say initial amount of drug antibiotic in the bloodstream initial okay amount of antibiotic in the bloodstream Okay, at the start, basically. Okay, when, when time is equal to zero. Okay, that's simple as that. That's part B. All right, so now we're going to go on to part C. It says, when a dose or when a different dose of the antibiotic is given to another patient, the values of X and T satisfy this equation. Use calculus to find to two significant figures the value of dx dt when T equals 5. So we've got to find dx dt. Now, this is a question which has got something to do with this exponential. So we know that when a when you got y equals a to the power of um, x, then dy dx is a to the power of x times lin a. That's the result that we should know for differentiating exponential functions. Okay. So when you differentiate something to the power of x, you get a to the power of x times lin a. And then if there's a function inside the function, you have to also multiply by the differential of that. So in this case, we got 400 times 1.4 to the power of minus t multiplied by the lin of 1.4, okay, because that's the same pattern here, the lin of 1.4. But then we got to multiply by the differential of what's inside this function. And inside the function is minus 1t. That gives you multiply by minus one, so this will this will end up giving us 400 times lin of 1.4 minus minus uh, that's negative over. I'll write this underneath 1.4 to the power of t. Okay, just wrote that underneath, and it's 400 times this times minus one. That gives us this answer. This is dx dt. So we want to find when x when sorry when t equals five, we can say dx dt. Is going to be minus 400 times the lin of 1.4 divided by 1.4 to the power of 5. So let's see what that gives us. So we have a minus 400 times the lin of 1.4 divided by 1.4 to the power of 5. That gives us minus 25.024, minus 25.02, it says to two significant figures. So therefore we can say that dx dt is equal to minus 25. Okay, that's when t is equal to 5. There's the answer to part c. And that completes this question number 8 about exponentials and log logarithms. Um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area over here. Other questions from exponential and logarithms from P3 in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. 
Thank you for watching. See you soon.